So I'm laying here in bed and I look at the, the news pops up and it says Uber drivers disappointed with low pay after eventful weekend in Las Vegas. And they're talking about that fucking Beyonce concert. That shit's funny as hell. Well, it's not really funny. So let me not say it's funny, but it was fucked up how I went out there to make that money. And a lot of drivers said they didn't make the money that they anticipated. And people were like, I have to pay rent. You know, typically I make four or five hundred when an event is in town. So how do you end up making one hundred and sixty dollars? Stacy says she's an Uber driver. And drivers say they didn't they didn't earn the expected money from the surge pricing. I was telling people from the giggle, like when y'all just saw my video, I was saying how fucked up it was that all this money was out there. But every ride was taken 30, 40 minutes from the time they, they got the request to the time the people got to your car, to the time you dropped them off, to the time you was ready for your next ride. I would have made like $14 in like 40 minutes. I'm telling you, that's why I canceled. I was like, no, nah, no, nah, these people are all over the fucking place. I can't do this shit. And so now, you know, this article just pops up and all these people are talking about how they're pissed off because they didn't make no money and they wonder why I took the night off. I was like, fuck this, I'm not doing this. I'm taking the night off and I took off. So like I said, you can you could pause this video, stop and read through this article if you want to. But I'm basically showing you, you know, how people showed in their app they paid $86, which tells you, okay, they, they're being charged service pricing. They're paying $86 for these rides. So why aren't people being paid, drivers being paid for that money? You know what I'm saying? It's like, I think that was the end of the article right there. Yeah. You know, crazy looking motherfucker right there. Hey, tomorrow, you know, people were paying all this fucking money. But wasn't nobody making money. That's why I called it a night, man. I had to bail the fuck out. And it's funny because, you know, I, like, not funny. I, I can't say this funny because it's not funny. It's fucked up the way they're doing us. But, you know, for me to look in the news and see how all these drivers are disappointed with the Beyonce weekend. And I'm like, man, when, when Beyonce is in town, everybody know it's a lot of money that could be made. You got concerts jumping off. You got, you know, after parties. You got parties, pre-parties. You got dinners. A lot of shit should have been popping off nothing it was flat as hell and that's why i told people in my video you know when i just put that video online when they be doing shit like that you gotta turn your app off and just get out of there because i'm not gonna be played like no sucker i'm not that shit and a lot of drivers out there got played like suckers they this lady made 160 bucks four or five hundred dollars when an event is in town and she messed around and made 160 dollars i made a hundred dollars that night before the event even started I called it good. I was like, nah, nah. As soon as I, I made my hundred bucks, went out there, was going to get some outskirt rides. I turned the app off and just went home for the night with the hundred bucks I already made before the concert. Because it was so much trash, just crazy rides, stupid rides, waiting. The infrastructure wasn't together. It was so jacked up. And that's why I tell people, man, people got to pay attention to what's going on. There's something going on with these apps and they're ripping people off. And for them to not pay drivers what they should have paid them. To be an event that massive, just like people saying they was paying 600 bucks a tickets, 800 bucks a ticket. But drivers is making worse than a normal weekend of us just doing clubs and bars. Yeah, see, that's why I, I just turned that shit off, man. I had to get out of there. I had to get out of there. It was just stupid. Like I said, y'all can pause this video if y'all want to and, and read this damn article. Yeah, a lot of people was down here making comments, and I think Uber has a lot to worry about in Las Vegas. If they don't step up, drivers are going to leave in droves just before the Formula One race in November. It's getting harder and harder to make money with Uber. With city blocks of uh, closing for two weeks, Uber drivers are going to stay home. Dead stop traffic doesn't benefit Uber like it does taxis. We are not paid for time. So even surge pricing is going to fix that. And Vegas is going to find shortage of drivers in November. That's the shit I'll be talking about. People don't understand that infrastructure is major. We do not get paid for time. We get up from pricing. That's it. And they might do a little increase, you know, 30 cent, 40 cent increase based on time. But we don't get paid. This is all upfront shit. And now it's in the government and legislature are too scared to stand up to Uber. Many emails have been passed over and given attention. Deserves it. Give an example. I was offered to take a ride, $17.14, 25 miles in 40 minutes. You consider standard mileage rates, expenses for gas insurance, wear and tear. Our compensation is $76 for 40 minutes. Meanwhile, Uber charges $37. See, that shit, well, that's the shit I'm talking about. All these drivers are saying the same thing I'm talking about. And it ended up making me about $600 shorter than I should have been last week, not to mention the additional hours to scrape to a minimum. Uh, Lyft lifted the surge restriction last Wednesday. But there are eight days later, Uber still has done nothing. Y'all think my videos be, be cussing out and be mad and shit like that. Y'all don't understand. I keep it 100. My channel keeps it real. I don't fuck around when I speak about this shit. I'm speaking about it 
A lot of these drivers don't talk like me. A lot of these drivers, you know, they they talk kind of, you know, prem and proper and kind of explaining shit so they don't get booted off the apps and shit like that. I don't care. Because when it comes time for money, it comes time to make this money and do this shit. This is the kind of shit I'm talking about. It's been decreasing drivers' pay. Look at this. Y'all can pause this video if y'all want to and read it. Seven years, 32,000 rides. Started making 82% of the ride. Now I make 47% of the ride. I'm telling you, man, these people, they telling it like it is. This is not bullshit. For all these fluffer nutter, sugar-coated ass channels, this is not no bullshit. This is what's really going on in the market right now. And motherfuckers wonder why I turn my app off and just high tell it home. I mean, y'all can read this shit on the screen right here. I drive Uber Lyft full-time. Uber stopped offering surge on August the 20th. Shit like that. Ain't nobody trying to drive for these events. People are just going home. People ain't dealing with this shit. And like Uber, you're not doing right by your drivers. Do better. These are all goddamn, these are all uh, like comments from people on this news article. Actually picking up a couple from Park MGM to the airport for $4.97. He's picking up for $4.97 from the airport. When people go to the airport, they have luggage, which requires me to help and customers put in the wrong destination, such as Terminal 1 instead of Terminal 3. Y'all just saw me make a video of that shit. Y'all just saw me make that dude went from Terminal 3 to Terminal 3. They be putting in the wrong shit. And so what do I do? I email them, say, hey, man, you might want to check your destination. Make sure it's where you're going. I'll get to them. And when the dude was like, you know, that's not where I'm trying to go. I don't know why they put that in there. Dude, I said, I'm canceling this ride. He was like, please don't cancel me, man. This is that. I tell you what, I just give you $15. You got cash out? Cool, let's do it. Let's do it. But this John Doe 306, that's the shit I'm talking about. This shit happens for real. It's not just me. It's not just the shit I'm doing. I put it in videos to show everybody. And that's why you motherfuckers, if y'all share these videos on Facebook, Instagram, wherever y'all sharing them at, I don't know. But it tells the real. These news articles are so fucking far behind. This news article is from... What day is this? August the 28th. Today. Today. August the 28th. I've been talking about this shit for like two years now. These motherfuckers are so slow. I've been saying I don't do concert traffic. I don't do event traffic. I don't do stadiums. I don't, I've been saying that shit for how long? And these motherfuckers just now putting this shit out. That's why I'm like, y'all got to share these videos and shit and let people know. Let people know what's really going on in the ride share community. Because a lot of these drivers don't know. A lot of these passengers don't know. A lot of these riders don't know. That ain't me right there. I don't know who that motherfucker is, but that ain't me. Yeah, a lot of these people don't fucking know. And so we got to go out there. Let me see this one about the independent contractor. This dude got a long-ass comment right here. The serious driver. Been driving for seven years. Could make bills with a bit of spending for uh, emergencies after COVID. Knows a huge discrepancy in the way Uber reconfigured their payouts. I mean, y'all can read this shit. Y'all can pause my motherfucking video, read through this whole fucking thing right here if y'all want to. But this is what people are really saying. This shit's real. Now, this video I'm going to throw online, it ain't going to have no edits and shit to it. This is an actual true news level video. This is some hot facts with Robert Reese level shit that I'm doing right now. I'm just showing y'all what's out there. So, if y'all want to go and, and look at News 3, Las Vegas articles, whatever the fuck y'all want to do, y'all will see that all these people out here are pissed off at how we're getting fucked over. So when I call these raggedy motherfuckers and these raggedy ass app and fuck these people, when I'm saying that, I'm saying what these people would like to say. I keep it 100 because fuck these motherfuckers. I keep it 100. These people got to sugarcoat they shit and censor they shit so they don't get banned off the internet. This is my YouTube channel. So when I say fuck these raggedy ass apps, turn these motherfuckers off and go home, that's what I'm talking about.